Sounds like Steph wants to meet me on the rooftop. to the party, but I should get to the rooftop eventually. This is awesome. Favorite time of the year. By what, no marshmallows? Come on. So this is that whole communal gathering thing. Mandatory night off? I'll take it. It was so fun watching Jed play the villain. What a good sport. Jed bought this as a treat for the regulars. And himself, I'm guessing. Well played, kitchen staff. Odds are pretty good. I'm grabbing a cup later tonight. What about acute emotional kleptomania? Come on, son, get it over with. <laughs> I, I don't want to get sick. You're gonna feel a whole lot better after you do. I'm, I'm gonna die, Dad. Not tonight, you're not, birthday boy. Although I suspect you're gonna <laughs> wish you had tomorrow morning. Atta boy.
Well, oof, I'm never drinking again. It's not the same without you, Tabitha. Never was, never will be. Tabitha. Sounds like Ducky's got a story to tell. Hey, Ducky. Who's Tabitha? Do you want to talk about her? You know, Alex, on this particular matter, I don't have much to say. Okay. There's got to be more I can do for Ducky. Okay. Tell me what I need to know to help him. You know, I carved that myself. Oh, hi. I'm Reginald McAllister III. My friends call me Ducky. <laughs> Tabitha Baker. Call me Tabs. Drink it. Look at the bottom. What? What are you? Uh, oh, Ducky, it's beautiful. Tabitha Baker, will you marry me? Anniversary, love. Here's to another 30 years. And another 30 festivals, if we can make it. Ducky, you're gonna outlast this whole damn town. I know that song. Poor Ducky. Maybe there's something I can do. Happy anniversary, love. Here's to another 30 years. And another 30 festivals, if we can make it. Ducky, you're gonna outlast this whole damn town. It's a tough night for you, isn't it? The Spring Fest? That's right. Did you actually carve that wooden bear? Brana? <laughs> sure did. That was a long time ago. The Spring Festival must have been important to you two. Indeed. We were married at the festival. We both loved it so much. Give me one sec. Ah, 
How did you... They're playing your song. Let's dance. That each new step is somehow preordained. I've not traveled this way. You know what reminds me most of her right now? It's not the song or the festival. It's that you took the time to care about a sad old man for no other reason than to make the world a little less troublesome. That was Tab's. Thank you, Alex. I think I'm a little more inclined to join the others outside. You're very welcome. Enjoy the festival. Ugh. Not tonight. Okay, I gotta admit, this is a pretty great feeling. You said you have some news? I'm leaving. I'm actually leaving Haven Springs. Can you believe it? Back on the road again. Fucking finally. Wait, seriously? I'm gonna play music again, Alex. Anywhere I want. God, I forgot how fucking good it feels. <sighs> Holy shit, Steph, that's so cool. I'm really happy for you. You better keep in touch. You think it's that easy to get rid of me? Come on, Chen. I need a new destination. You're my good luck charm. You have shit taste in good luck charms. <laughs> Shut up. Pick one. Wow, nice pick. All right, tell me about my life in the middle of the sea. Congratulations on your new gig, playing drums in a cruise ship band. I can make that work. I'll mix up the dad rock and show tunes with one bikini kill cover per <laughs> set. Nudge some yuppies toward better taste. You could even throw in some originals. Before you know it, you've got the world's first cruise corps band. That sounds like a pretty spectacular plan. Great. Then come with me. To the ocean? <laughs> sure, why not? Doesn't have to be our first stop, but one day. I still have friends in Seattle who book shows. Maybe we start there or, I don't know, Kansas City, Vegas, wherever we want. Look, I don't want to pressure you, but I've seen you give so much of yourself to make sure other people get what they need. And I guess I wonder if you've thought about what you need. I mean, obviously, I like you a lot, Alex. 
You mean the fucking world to me. Kiss me. Kiss me. Kiss me. Kiss me. don't have to decide anything now, okay? <laughs> Just think about it. I will. Thank you. I'm gonna head back down. Find me later. Hey, Gabe. Can I tell you something? I think I solved it. Why you died. Who's responsible. Isn't that crazy? I'm out of threads to pull. Which is terrifying. Because on the other side of all this, after Typhon, after you, there's just... normal life. I was kind of counting on you to show me how to do that. But I think I can figure it out. I just wish you were here to see it. Oh, um, also, I kissed Steph, so that happened. Alex, do you have the USB drive? I do. It's all here. Gabe's call, their secret plan, the cover-up. You need to come with me to the station. Alex, don't make this hard. Probably isn't how you pictured your first spring festival, huh? Not exactly. Coffee?
coffee would be great. Thanks. I don't know why I offered we're actually out. Pike, why am I here? <clears throat> the long and short of it is, Diane is charging you with stealing her USB drive. That's bullshit. I haven't done anything wrong. They're the criminals here. Did you steal this USB drive or not? At least tell me you looked at it. I can't. Sorry. What do you mean? Why not? Well, one, I would need a warrant. And two, the case is closed. The order came down today. I did what I could, but you know, the evidence just wasn't there. Sorry, Alex. I have the evidence, right it, here. It doesn't matter. Look, what happened to my brother wasn't an accident. It was criminal. The files on that drive prove it. That could be true, but let's say it is. The issue is you stole Typhon's property. I can't work with that. Okay, I get the point. I'm sorry I stole the drive, but... Apologizing isn't enough. Alex, you're not thinking about this clearly. Seems pretty clear to me. Diane wants to charge you with computer fraud. That's a federal crime, Alex. Five to ten, easy. You know what? Fuck Diane. This isn't justice. This is a joke. It's not that bad. Hey, I talked to her. And despite how angry she is at everything you did, she's willing to let it go. If you agree to drop everything, Typhon won't press any charges. She's only offering that deal because she knows I have her. She's guilty, Pike. Even if you're right, your only evidence is inadmissible. I think you should do it. Fuck that. I'm not signing anything. Alex. No. Typhon buried something in the mountains. Something so massive they ignored Gabe's call and set off the blast just to cover it up. Don't you want to know what it is? What do you mean, cover it up? Another blast, unannounced, set off at the exact same time at the old mining site. And all of it happened just a few weeks before inspections were set to begin. Come on, Pike. It's all right here. Like I said, it doesn't matter. Alex, please, just sign the form, and we can both go back to the party. No. Alex, this is not an offer that you can choose. I said no. No is not an option. What are you so scared of? See for yourself. Shit. 
What could be in that envelope? Fuck me. Is this a threat? What did you expect? Huh? The Typhon, a global organization with billions in revenue, an army of lawyers, and who knows how many politicians in their pockets would just what, throw up their hands and say, you got us. I don't know. I was just... Focused on getting the truth. The truth is that you have no idea what Typhon is capable of. Shit. Believe me, I want nothing more than to make these fuckers pay. I've learned the hard way that it's not possible. They're too big. Too connected, too ruthless. You can hate me if you want. Call me a coward. But I don't want to lose you like we lost Gabe. Pike is terrified of Typhon. I bet if I took his fear away. But it's not just about me. Steph and Ryan are in danger too. Fuck. I want to hurt Typhon so bad. But can I really put their lives at risk along with mine? this? Gabe, Mac, Alex, who's next? Fuck. Fuck. Fuck! Just keep your head down, Tony. You're just a shit heel. Typhon's major league. Typhon doesn't lose. Typhon disappears, people. Let them get killed. Not you. I know you're afraid. I am too. I know you think that Typhon is too big, too invincible, but they're not. I will bring them down. I just need your help. If not for me, then for Gabe. Please. Fuck. I'll think about it. Thank you. Get the hell out of here. Really? Alex. Be careful.
those pictures. How long have they been watching us? And what will they do if... I have no idea what to do next. Maybe talking to Jed will help me feel better. First, I need to get out of this dress. It was special for me too, Steph. Enjoy that ice cream. I'm glad Ducky had a nice night. He deserves it. I had no idea what I was getting into, did I? Buried secrets, evil mining corporations, death threats. I didn't realize how awful it would all be. put my friends lives in danger for what was it all for nothing can I share this now with you can I hold you in my I guess the night wasn't all bad wait to have nightmares tonight. I look better than I feel. Might as well go talk to Jed now. I think I'm all played out for tonight. Maybe I'll just bike out to the mine, dig up some answers myself. Feels like the LARP was a hundred years ago. Hey, Jed. There she is. Have a seat. Something tells me you've had a more exciting spring festival than you planned for. You saw Pike arrest me. And let you go, apparently. Then there's that business with Ryan and Steph earlier today. I wasn't sure why it took all three of you to work out Diane's lunch order. I know you're used to looking out for yourself. Gabe was like that. But Haven's a community. We help each other. I want to help you. But first, you have to let me know what's going on. Fuck it. What have I got to lose? Typhon killed Gabe. I have proof. 
What proof? I stole it from Diane. Emails and documents proving there was a second explosion the night Gabe died. To cover something up, Jed. Some secret they buried. I don't know what it is. I don't even know what to do next. But I'm not giving up. Not ever. I know what they're hiding. Please, Jed. What's the truth? What are they afraid of? Typhon's the devil that runs this town. I've been carrying their secrets for far too long. I know what they buried in the mountains. Tell me. I'll do one better. I'll show you. There, up ahead. Where are we? The middle of nowhere. About two clicks that way is the mining site where you search for Ethan. Five clicks that way is town. What is this thing? Ventilation shaft. They're scattered everywhere. Over the years, mines grow into mines, creating a labyrinth under Haven. What you're searching for is down below. Chad, why are you sad? Sorry, kid. Okay. Just put the gun down. I tried to talk you out of it. Scare you off. I was sure those pictures of Ryan and Steph would do the trick. But you were relentless. Won't leave damn well enough alone. You don't have to do this. I do. Twelve years ago, I made a mistake. The kind of thing that you... you can't undo. But Typhon made me a deal. A way to save my town. Give my boy a normal life. I never wanted Gabe to get hurt. Go to hell. 